Hello everyone, here are the latest market news on July the 4th, 2019. Japan stocks end higher on Thursday. Japanese stocks rose on Thursday, tracking Wall Street's gains on expectations that the U.S. Federal Reserve will start cutting interest rates after the latest data signaled a slowdown in the U.S. economy. The Nikkei share average ended 0.3% higher at 21,702.45 in thin trading as U.S. financial markets were closed for a national holiday on Thursday. The broader topics gained 0.7% to 1,589.78. Advancing issues outnumbered declining once 1,599 to 467. Only 822 million shares changed hands on the topic's main board, the lowest volume since December 2011. The U.S. trade deficit jumped to a five-month high in May, and activity in the services sector slowed in June, according to data released on Wednesday. UK economy may be shrinking on back of no-deal fears. The UK economy has suffered its first quarterly contraction in seven years, a closely watched survey suggests, as the looming threat of a no-deal Brexit paralyzes business activity. Growth in the UK's dominant service sector came to a near standstill in June, confirming a gloomy outlook for a month in which the manufacturing and construction industries plunged into reverse. The figures indicate that the British economy contracted by about 0.1% in the three months of June, according to IH market and the Chartered Institute of Procurement and Supply KIPS, which compiles the monthly survey. Sounding alarm bells over the health of the economy before Britain is scheduled to leave the EU by 31st of October. Failure to rebound the third quarter would mean the country sliding into recession before Brexit. The last time GDP shrank for one quarter was in the final three months of 2012. Two consecutive negative quarters constitute a recession. Expectations among city investors have increasingly shifted towards an interest rate cut from the bank as the growth picture deteriorates. The reading from the PMI sent financial market expectations of an interest rate cut this year to more than 15 percent. Official growth figures for the second quarter will be released next month. However, the respected National Institute of Economic and Social Research think tank has forecast that GDP contracted by 0.2 percent in the second quarter. U.S. oil drillers cut rigs for the first time in weeks. U.S. energy firms this week reduced the number of oil rigs operating for the first time in three weeks as drillers follow through on plans to cut spending this year. Drillers cut five oil rigs in the week to July the 3rd, bringing the total count down to 788. General Electric Co.'s Baker Hughes Energy Services firm said in its closely followed report on Wednesday. The rig count, an early indicator of future output, declined over the past seven months as independent exploration and production companies cut spending on new drilling as they focus more on earnings growth instead of increased output. For the year, the U.S. Energy Information Administration project's U.S. crude output will rise to 12.32 million barrels per day in 2019, up from the annual record of 10.96 million barrels per day in 2018. U.S. crude futures traded around $56 per barrel on Wednesday, putting the contract on track to fall about 3% for the week after rising a total of 11% over a prior two weeks as investors worried about the slowing global economy despite a decision by OPEC and its allies to extend output cuts. Looking ahead, crude futures were trading around $57 a barrel for the balance of 2019 and $55 in calendar 2020.